I wanted to review some of the great reactions from the most impressive people America has to offer after this triumphant win. Let's watch some. Play this one. Okay, so since Trump won the election, we're cooked, yup. Um, I'm going to be leaving the U.S. and I'm going to be moving to Hawaii. So <laughs> Is that we'll real? see how no, it goes. That can't be real. And I'll update you guys. Is that a real video, Ryan? Is that or is this is this a play actor? He he he. he that's a real thing. Donald Trump is the king of Hawaii. Just so you know, he has more power in Hawaii than he does on the homeland. Okay, play the next one. Yo, I'm scared to go to sleep. I might wake up a mother sleigh. <laughs> Y'all, like, why are y'all Trump supporters? Like, why? <laughs> I mean, this shows, as we're going through these, the depth of the lies of the media and how people... She, I'm going to wake up a slave? Okay, play the next one. The first question I'm asking everybody in my life, from this moment forward, who did you vote for? If I get anything aside from Kamala, get the f in my face. I am done, honestly. It costs me zero dollars to cut people off. And in this economy, I'm taking all the free sh I can get. What does that even mean? What is she talking about? Okay, what's the next one? Oh, this is great. I want to meet her. Am I reading that correctly? She voted for Trump and pretending to be... I, I want to... Can we bring her to Amfest and she gets a signed hat? What a, I love that look. Oh, she's great. That is so good. But now all of her co-workers know because she posted the video. All right, next one. Donald Trump is president and I think all women should stop having sex for the next four years in protest and protection of your bodies. As we know, if that little this baby inside idea. you gives you any trouble and you need an emergency health care, you're it's a complete lie. And you're gonna die. I think that is sufficient enough reason to stop having sex. Don't you agree? This vote wasn't a vote for American. This vote was for men. And unless we want to become the handmaid's tale, then us women need to protest because this is so buttery bull Okay, so just just so we're clear. Um if you stop having sex, then why do you need to have all these abortions? Well, we knew Donald Trump would be the most pro-life president in history, and he's already delivering. Okay, next one. I just started calculating, and if those 32K people who voted for Jill Stein would have voted for Kamala, we would have more votes than Donald Trump in Pennsylvania. Yeah, that's not the way math works. Yeah, this is not even... That's not even close how math works, actually. You'd have to add a zero. And then that's not how it works. Okay, uh, honestly, I, I'm not going to put too much delight in the suffering of my enemies. But I will say, it's awfully tempting to. But we won, you lost, and enjoy the show. Everybody, thanks so much for watching. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit the bell. We're doing so much good work here at Turning Point USA. Also, get your tickets to AmFest. That's AmFest.com, the biggest party of the year in Phoenix Convention Center. We have Tucker Carlson and really big speakers coming. I'll be there. It's going to be unbelievable. Meet your future husband, future wife. It's going to be great. AmFest.com, A-M-F-E-S-T.com. Get there. Uh, go get the tickets. It's going to be amazing. And again, please subscribe and hit this bell. We appreciate it. And if you listen to audio podcasts, subscribe to the Charlie Kirk Show podcast. That's Charlie Kirk Show podcast. We won, everybody. We won. I need to get this hat. Daisy, can you get me one of these hats? We won. And uh, if you guys want a limited edition signed MAGA hat right here, last thing I'll say is become a member, members.charliekirk.com, to get a limited edition MAGA hat. We have 5,000 to send out, don't we, Daisy? Over, like 8, we have 8,000 hats I have to sign. 8,000 hats. God bless. Okay, everybody, welcome back. All right, Blake, navigate us through Mr. Kimmel here. It's too good to be uh, true. It, it's, it's great. So we haven't 
we've been enjoying the victory, but we haven't actually taken a lot of time to fully enjoy just their, their misery, the agony, the I, suffering. We haven't done that at all. I, I can. It's a little bit slower than I, I think it's yeah. going to pick up, though. It'll pick up. It, it's it's going to pick up. It's there's been a lot of this, so we want we want to have some of these good ones. So, and there was a bit of a delay too. Like we in 2016, you had uh, it was Stephen Colbert yeah. did that live stream with Mark Halpern on the show, where right. they come in and like they, they thought he was going to have him walk. Oh, it was so great. Um, but what's the number here? So Jimmy Kimmel, of course, was a very aggravating lib. He's one of the biggest figures in the turning of late night TV into this endless crap show. Uh, he started to basically cry last night in his first program post-election. Uh, let's play 290. Let's be honest. It was a terrible night last night. It was a terrible night for women, for children, for the hundreds of thousands of, of hardworking immigrants who make this country go. Um, <laughs> for health care, for our climate, for science, for journalism, for justice, for free speech. It was a terrible night for poor people, for the middle class, for seniors who rely on Social Security, for our allies in Ukraine, for NATO, for the truth, and democracy and decency. And it was a terrible night for everyone who voted against him. And guess what? It was a bad night for everyone who voted for him, too. You just don't realize it yet. I like that his voice started to crack when he got to NATO. For NATO. I know. But it's just, I mean, this is, he's supposed to be a comedian, right? <laughs> uh, uh, allegedly he was. But no. by the way, democracy, who won the popular vote? Exactly. Uh, it, it's so symbolic, too, that one of the biggest trends in this campaign is this was like the like the dude bro election of like ordinary dudes mm -hmm. saying, wait, the Democrats are awful now. He used to do the man show. He yes, used to do I know. like a dude bro show and was a liberal. And the fact it that- It was a misogynist show. Yeah, let's, it was let's, like- let's clear. He yeah. did like actually gross things. Yeah, he women. did like gross stuff, whatever. That used to be a thing you could have on the left. You could be a dude bro leftist mm -hmm. and you can't anymore. And they turned off so many people- with all that scolding, with all that obno with you know, they just became so unpleasant that they can't have the coalition they used to have that won elections. Um, do we have more kind of uh, videos like this? All right, let's play. Um, by the way, this is my favorite. Just let's put three hundred three up on on stage uh, on, on screen here. Democrats call for a party reckoning. Just look at this. How delicious is this here? Put this up on screen. <laughs> Democrats call for a party reckoning. Let's play cut 304. And, and finally, we talk a lot about these different demographics and these assumptions of where they're going to go. Latinos in Texas, a, dis, a district that's 97% Latino, went 75 percentage points for Donald Trump. Yeah. Why? Misogyny. It's on the, no, that's it's on the border. It's the misogyny. border crisis is on their doorstep. So, so, and they were begging people to care about it for years. We need to take some lessons. That's what that was. The lessons are not Knock, knock. Who's <laughs> there? Oh, my gosh. It's Whoopi. <laughs> We have just a few seconds left. Let's play 231. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. <laughs> why, why, why? <laughs> why, why, why? <laughs> Do you really hate me that bad? No, we don't, we, we don't hate you, actually. We we'll be playing that one, like the, I know. the chick screaming at inauguration. Oh, no, it, we, we want you to live in a decent country, actually. And I, I just... We will make your country great again, even if it's against your will.